new tonight or what's inside this fancy plastic bag could soon be in your gas tank. This isn't your parents' old pond scum, that's for sure. Don't go to sleep just yet. We're about to make algae exciting, believe it or not. What an East Texas man is doing in the El Paso desert could soon change the way we drive, fly, or manufacture products. He showed it off to In Focus reporter Ted Oberg. Nestled in El Paso's valley, high in the West Texas desert, under 300 days of bright, bright sunshine every year, a dream to change the way the world moves is taking shape. An environmentally sensitive new way to look at an age-old life form. Okay, wait a second, sorry, back to earth. We're talking about algae. Algae pond scum. Yep. The stuff that collects around the edge of the fish pond, Glenn Kurtz, could be called El Paso's Earl of Algae. I'm a plant geek, okay? <laughs> I've, been, I've been messing with green things for 40-something years. Here, Kurtz grows it in these exotic plastic tubes he designed to take up less space than an actual pond. If you grow the right kind of algae, it's packed with oil oil that you can take out of these one-celled plants and refine. Make jet fuel, to make truck diesel, to make plastics. But not today. Today he's sort of a wildcat. We're the guys back in the ni early 1900s, late 1800s, uh, going out, you know, poking holes in the ground. And like wildcatters, Kurtz is certain the oil is inside these plants. He just needs to find the right one. Some algae is up to 70% vegetable oil. Then he needs to find the best way to mass produce the stuff. It will take thousands of these tubes to make it worthwhile commercially. But if research goes well and the money doesn't run out, he says he could be there in two to three years. It's clean to grow, cleaner to refine, and clean to burn. The question now, can you make the science more than just a dream? There's still a lot of research to do. He's convinced Ponska could be one of the ways out of our energy crisis. In Focus in El Paso, Ted Oberg, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, I have a new appreciation for pond scum now. Kurtz is not the only scientist working on turning algae into fuel. Close to a dozen firms are working on it around the world.